welcome in ladies and gents so today we're going to be looking at a great bit of software that goes with uh rtx cards um for nvidia it's called nvidia broadcast a lot of people already do know about it but we're gonna have a little bit of a look into it uh, it does help with your microphone your speakers and your camera um so there's a couple of bits to set up let's get into it Ooh, let's get into it so first off, we are just going to need to download the NVIDIA broadcast software. I will put a link in the description, but you can just go on Google or or your um, browser of uh, search engine of your choice um, and type in NVIDIA broadcast and it should come up. Uh, we'll go to the download link, and but there was a couple of little bits. You do need system requirements, uh, so you will need at least one of these cards or higher to be able to use it and then obviously the ram and everything else needed obviously you're going to need the internet there we go i suppose they've got to put that because yeah anyway <laughs> so once you've downloaded that and installed it we will come to this bit of software here um it will start on your microphone you will have to select your microphone um which is obviously the for me it's me rode nt usb one which is actually a decent mic but anyway um and then you can select all these noise removed they are quite good it, it's they do take out the the noise from your, your keyboard and stuff like that um i find but my mine's quite quite keyboard anyway uh speakers again similar sort of thing um so we're not really going to touch on these too much the main one we're going to touch on is the camera so camera select a camera in the drop down menu there are whichever ones you have great i use snap camera because i do quite a few different effects um using that and you on board which we've done a video on again that will be in a probably in a card up here somewhere who knows or I'll, I'll definitely put it in the description anyway so go and watch that um again noise removal this is quite a good one we're just going to put it on we're just going to remove the effects we've got a complete back normal as it is um we have got noise removal so we'll remove that effect altogether so we've removed every single effect we've got so we're going to add one straight in and it's going to be the black background blur so so black with the background blur you can see we can adjust it as is and it will blur progressively blur out the background in the camera so you can see in the one the main camera that is, that is here um obviously you can keep adjusting that i think personally that's far too strong <laughs> um you can go for performance as well quality over performance stuff like that but i think you're better off quite minimal it gives you that little bit of a dslr effect um from a what i've got is a c920 <laughs> um so you don't need an expensive camera to do this but again i think the more you go up the less it looks good in my opinion um so you can keep it quite low for me i think just slightly above maybe there that starts to look okay and you, you you do pop out a little bit more um the other bit we can add uh, another one is we can do a background placement all together so you can go into your uh it's obviously a sample one but you can go into your um into your uh, files and you can select a um a fold a picture to have as your background we're just going to leave it on the sample one because um we're not going to go through and do that uh another one we're going to go to background removal last i think yeah we're going to do auto frame so this is quite a good one so if you've got it so we can zoom in for a starter but then if you want to move it will follow you around so we have done a obs um face tracking software which i didn't realize this actually did this until recently so this is quite a good one to uh to check out if you do want to do it obviously you, you can zoom in way too far in my opinion uh and it will will track you so it's the only thing i don't quite like about it is it's a bit snappy it needs it needs smoothing smoothing out a little bit so yeah and it does just track your face so as an example up the imps by the way up the imps 
um let me know any other link can support us get in the comments um sorry <laughs> um so yeah you can zoom it in and it will track and it's quite good you know like i say for me it would just need a little bit of smoothing um to make it a little bit better but it's good for what it is so again remember this is free i know you've spent quite a lot on your rtx card but to add that extra free software and that free utility into it it's great um so the next one we are going to come up to there is video noise removal so if you have got a bit of a grainy um effect on your camera you can do it it's not making too much effect at the moment for mine uh but if you have got an exceptionally grainy effect uh, on your camera so the light's not quite right and your camera's struggling then you can add that and it will help uh, finally we are going to do background removal so this one you do need a little bit of light um, to make it work better because if you turn some of your lights off uh, it does struggle but I find it's brilliant for my um, I will just show my Sky Sports news scene so I can look like I'm sat behind a desk. I haven't got a green screen. There is a little bit of artifacting and a bit of not quite accurate at times. But for something that's free, back at the moment, you can't tell. I genuinely don't think you can tell. There is that little flickering every now and again. But you genuinely can't tell that much. So it's for me, um, it's it's pretty good, to be honest. Um and you obviously you can just turn it off turn it off your performance and quality there's only a couple of settings on that the only thing i will say that if you are using like i have done in the past snap camera or i still do some effects don't work as well um so it just completely takes the camera off on certain effects certain effects still work but again they're a bit hit and miss so if you do use that consider it uh, it's me, Bungyo. Um anyway. Um little <laughs> there is a clip out there by the way. Um so yeah. Use it as always, just play around with anything like this. If you've got a bit of time, just play around with it. A lot of the like the micro and the speaker ones, I would I don't mess around with them too much, but this the camera, I do adjust it to whatever scene I'm on, so it will help my overall camera. Thank you one and all um let us know in the comments what you use nvidia broadcast for yourself if you have got it um and uh yeah we'll catch you in the next one peace out